Hi everyone, my name is Max and I'm running an AI automation agency, Flowby.ai. Today we're going to talk about stunning product visuals and animations. Most entrepreneurs and small business owners struggle to consistently produce professional level visuals due to limited resources, high costs, and lengthy turnaround times from design teams or freelancers. Creating engaging product media traditionally means spending days if not weeks coordinating with graphic designers, photographers, and animators. But what if I told you there is a smarter way? Today I'll walk you through how AI is completely transforming the process, empowering you to produce professional grade product media quickly and cost effectively. And stay tuned till the end, because as a bonus, I'll show you how to upscale your images using AI for high resolution visuals. Plus, I'll demonstrate how virtual try-on technology can take your product showcase to an entirely new level. Let's see it on an example. So first of all, I'm going to start with generating a logo for my product. So let's say I'll go with generate a logo of a rainbow phoenix. For example, I'm going to use Gemini LLM from Google for this purpose. OK, so here we go. We got our logo. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to save that image. So next, what we're going to use is recraft.ai to generate a mockup of our product. So here I'll go with half body shot of a woman wearing white T-shirt. OK, so that's going to be the mockup on which we're going to place our product. And while the mockup is getting ready, I'm going to import the image of our newly created logo. The only difference here is I need to remove the background so that I can place that mockup on the T-shirt itself. The logo is ready. It doesn't have a background, so we can um, move the logo straight on the T-shirt. So that can be kind of a big picture right here, or we can create kind of a smaller picture here as we wish. Let's see which one we like more. Let's actually try something like this. It doesn't really matter right now. So that's our image. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on that image and we export that image as GPEG format. OK, so once we open that, we have our kind of mock up ready already. Next, we're going to go to Google AI Studio. This is totally free of charge, so you can use that. What is important, we need to select um, the newly released model for image generation. So we don't need to change any other settings, but we can actually chat with the model and ask it to create the photos of our model in different angles. We need to upload the photo of our model and ask generate our model from different angles. So basically, this was needed for product portfolio for the people who are going to buy this product to actually see how it looks from different angles. So here we can see sort of the same lady looking to the other side, right? I mean, it doesn't really change uh, much, but it's still really good. So this image sort of OK, but the face maybe a little bit looks imaginary, especially the hands. Um, but these ones are actually pretty good. I think these ones are pretty good. They, they, you, you can actually tell that's the same lady here. So we've got photos from different angles. Did even create me sort of a mock-up of an image with this logo. We don't need this one, but um, I think that's pretty cool. So the this is the new released uh, Gemini 2.0 flash model that can actually take your image as an input and regenerate it in different angles, which is pretty nice. I mean, you can use this consistent character throughout different images and uh, generate as many images as you want. So here we will have different images of the same model in different angles so that we can use it for our product portfolio on our e-commerce website or for social media, etc. But let's imagine we are going to be taking um, this image, which looks really good. But some people might say, OK, so the quality is not that good. So if the quality is not that good, it's actually pretty easy to improve that. For this, we have imageupscaler.com. So for this one, we're going to be using this image and then we can select by how much percent we want to increase that image. 200 percent or 400 percent. Let's do 400 percent and let's wait until we get it. Also, please notice that here we are having 180 kilobytes for that image. And let's see what the final result is going to be. All right, we've got the final result and let's compare it to the original one. So on the left side, we have the original image. On the right side, we have the upscaled image. So as you can see, the size of the image is 1.8 megabytes actually for this image. And as you can see, it's actually hard to notice the real difference once you look at it. Um, doesn't really change much, but it actually changes when we try to zoom in. And let's actually take a look at the face right here. 
let's actually take a look at the face right it's a little bit more blurry on this image and this is because this is an ai image if we would have a realistic image we'll probably have less blur on the face specifically but if we look at the hair for example you can literally see like every single hair on her hat in comparison to here so here for sure the hair is much more blurry and you can't see that much of a detail and same goes for example to the phoenix right it's uh, it's very clearly seen if we compare the left one to the right one so this image is upscale much better quality especially when you're trying to zoom in so think about using this service if you need a better quality images so and once we have those good images the next service we're going to use is hilua.ai that's a chinese video creation software that would be able to create you the short reel or product video from your image so let's actually go and upload an image right here so let's take our upscaled image that we have and let's tell it the following animate the image happy woman smiling to the camera slow motion that's basically enough so here we can select different angles from the camera perspective and we probably want to go something like left circling maybe so something like this i think it's gonna be okay here we can select the prompt enhancer so that it takes our prompt and kind of improves it and here make sure you select the director view so that you can control the camera motion at least uh, what i've tried this is one of the best models so that's why i'm going to be using this one and then we click generate we can select how many videos we want to generate i think that's going to be enough just with one and I'm actually on a free trial. So if you sign up right now, you get exclusive 10,000 credits until March 20th. You can test it and try it. The only problem with all those video generators that we face right now is the time for the generation. So here, for example, on a free plan, at least to generate a video, I need to spend 28 minutes waiting. And again, what happens if the video is not of a good quality? You will need to regenerate and then again, like 30 minutes to wait. That takes a lot of time. That's why they push you to sign up for their pay plan so you can generate faster. But still, it, it, it is quite long. Five minutes, it's probably fast enough, but uh, you have to pay for that. And I've used um, different other services. There is uh, Runway, there is Pika Labs and many, many others. They have the same issue, like then generation of the video will actually take much more time than to generate text or an image. So that's why for this particular service to generate reels or animated videos, you will have to spend some time waiting. You can do yourself a coffee or do your own stuff. So you don't need to be specifically present on this page. So we'll be back when we will have the video generated. All right, so the video is ready. Let's actually take a look what we got. Okay, so... As you can see, we've got the watermarks, but those are easily removable if you pay for the service. Looking on the face, you probably can somewhat tell this is AI generated. So it's not perfect. I can show you a couple examples I've generated before. So that was my product image of sort of a custom cream with a custom logo. Um, there was another image of a woman wearing a shirt with like another example which in my case, I guess, was a little bit better. You can probably get something a little bit better than this one. But again, it's not going to be the same on each and every creation. So literally, every time you create, you get something else. So you might uh, get the right shot or you might actually miss with the creation and you will need to regenerate. So we don't have time for regeneration here. So let's stick to the results that we've got. And I think you can see how the t-shirt sort of wears with this logo. And that kind of the main goal. The main goal is not what looking actually at the face right here. So we probably can also be more specific that we wanted with without face, but that could be okay for some short product video where we want to show the product actually. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show is if we actually want to try this t-shirt on ourselves. So there is this uh, hugging face space uh, called Colors Wheelchair Try On, and I'll leave a link to all those tools in the description. So here we can select the image of ourselves. So let me go with this one here we will select the newly created t-shirt i want to actually try it on myself virtually how this is going to look so and then we're just gonna run and wait a few seconds to see how that looks all right so here we are so let's actually take a look all right so that's my face with this t-shirt i think we're missing a little bit of detail on the image here 
but generally that's just fine i mean just to see okay how that looks on my t-shirt and some of the leading online marketplaces already have these features embedded into their websites so whenever you want to buy some shoes or some sort of t-shirt or whatever other things you can actually virtually try on and think about your shop um if you have one or you have a business where you produce different product you can sort of think about how that is actually going to look in the environment the person is going to be using the product. That's it. You've now seen firsthand how simple it is to use AI to create amazing product animations. If you're ready to take your visuals to the next level and boost your brand visibility, make sure to like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.